Hey, Wings. Focus of the week time and on to a new month. As we look back at February, February was all about decluttering and hopefully you enjoyed that and did a little bit of that. I know I did. All my spaces are a little bit <laughs> decluttered, which feels really good as I head into March and a little bit of that spring clean. And what I am calling the theme for March for me is living life in full bloom. And what does that mean for us? For me, it's really figuring out what are those things that bring me joy? What are the things that make me bloom? What are those things that just make me wake up inside? And how do I bring more of that into my life? And we have to be intentional about those things. So the journaling I would love for you guys to do this week is figure out what those things are. For me right now, it's bringing live flowers. I love to work with flowers. It's a simple little thing. Going to the local grocery store, Trader Joe's is a great option, or Jewel, Osco in my area. But going to that local store and picking a few packages of flowers, coming home and putting those together, it just brings me a lot of joy. It takes not that much time. And then I've got fresh flowers all over my house and it just feels really great. So I get this crazy smile on my face and it just feels really joyful. So what are those little things that go a long way? Um, the flowers that I did this week, I picked up four packs of flowers. It was a filler flower, uh, some type of little, uh, like a little seed or a pot of some sort that's, you know, got a little bit of dimension to it. And then, you know, a bundle of actual flowers. I picked tulips because I love tulips in the spring. Um, and then I had a little uh, pack. I added an extra pack that had a bundle of all sorts of different kinds of flowers, daisies and all sorts of flowers in it. And then I just packaged, you know, I picked those all up and put them together. Um, I was using mason jars, so it just felt really great. And they were so fun. I'll post some pictures of it. And then I put them all over my house and I actually had a few extra ones and I was able to bring it to some friends that uh, brought some smiles to them too, which felt really great. So how do we bring some joy? How do we carve out what joy looks like for ourselves? We do a lot for others. We are in service. <laughs> that is, you know, kind of the makeup. And I'm hearing this common theme of when we're not doing for others or when we're not in service, a lot of times we are feeling guilty or there's this whole, like, I feel guilty when I'm not doing this, this, and this. And I just want to erase some of that. Life's too short for all that guilt and all those feelings. So carve out a little bit of what makes you feel like you are in bloom and what just sets your heart on fire. Part of that might be journaling and figuring out what those things are. So that's the first part of this for you. What are the things that set your heart on fire? It might be live music. So you need to make some intention to go see live music again and hear that music in person. Uh, it might be bringing flowers into your home or doing some gardening or just setting some intentions for those things. I can't define what those are for you. I want you to figure out what those things are for you. But the prompt for this week and the focus of this week is to figure out what those things are. What makes you happy? Just you, not somebody else, not what makes somebody else happy serving somebody else. I want you to serve yourself this week. That's the focus of this week. Happy beginning of March. Live life in full bloom. That's our focus of this week. Have a wonderful week, Wings.